Hello, this is Ikan K from Blue Steel Auto School again. This time we're at the Beverly Road road test site. Right. Um, this one is, I mean, pretty much straightforward. This is probably the easiest of the ones that we've discussed. Um, one of the, I mean, probably the easiest in, in Brooklyn, right? Um, there's really nothing out of the ordinary here. I mean, every, everything is pretty straightforward. Um, the only thing you might have to deal with is, I mean, of course, other than the, the usual things with right away and stuff like that, but just as far as the layout of Beverly itself is concerned, the biggest issue is probably a speed bump, right? And you just have to learn how to deal with the speed bump properly. Um, everything else, I mean, it's, it's pretty clear which streets are one way and two way. Um, yeah, it's clear whether you have a regular stop sign or an all-way stop sign. You have to know how to, how to manage the two different stop signs. Um, and that's about it. So this will be a pretty quick video. We're just going to go around and, you know, just deal with the stop signs and the speed bump. And that's about it. Okay, so I'm here at the start point. Um, it's on Schenectady between Tilden and Beverly, all right? Again, all the preliminaries are done. As we've discussed before, you don't start the car without permission. You get in the car, you do your seat mirrors and belt. Um, turn the key halfway to do the mirrors, but do not start the engine without permission. Um, when they ask you to start the car, you can start the car. You still have to wait for them to tell you it's okay to move the car, all right? And then you do your gear, signal, wheel, and you look, mirror and shoulder, right? There are cars coming, so I'm gonna wait, right? Don't force it, all right? I can go, that other car is like a block away, so I can go, all right? I come next to the yellow line, not on it. Usually, nine times out of 10, they have you make this turn. Every once in a while, you go straight, all right? The light turned yellow, that car is stopping. I'm in the middle of the intersection, so I can go. So when the light was green, I went to the middle, which is what you're supposed to do. And then when it changes, you can't stay there. Let's make this left here, mirror to the curb. This car is a little too close for comfort. I'm gonna let him go by, he has the right of way. All right, and then I'm gonna do my one turn first and just a little bit of gas to start. All right, and we have a speed bump here. This is going by the playground. All right, see it says 20 miles an hour. So subtract so five, you know, like 15 to 20 and just let the car roll over the bump. You don't want to hit the brake right at the bump, right? When you come off the bump, you speed back up to 20, 25, right? So that the yellow bump sign is, is just a caution for the bump. It doesn't mean that the actual speed limit is 20, right? All right, this is a regular stop sign here. I'll make this right here so you stop and then you creep out. You have to go very slow at a regular stop because other traffic has the right of way. That car has the right of way. You're watching for pedestrians. I'm getting my mirror to the curb. I'm doing my one turn of the wheel. And even now, all right, I'm still looking to make sure because I can't see around the parked cars. And then once I can see and I know that it's clear, I go, all right? Um, there's not too much to deal with here, all right? It's, I mean, the, the layout is just very normal. Now this guy is sitting at a green light. Um, I don't know what he's waiting for. Either sleeping or texting or daydreaming or whatever. Mirror to the curb and one circle here. All right, so if you go down this way, all right, this speed bump is 15. Don't ask me why on the other side of the playground it's 20, on this side is 15, but that's what it is. 10 to 15, so track five, all right and you just roll over the bump smoothly, all right? And now this is an always stop, all right? So I'm gonna make this right again. I'm gonna stop right here. Complete stop, but now it's my turn because I stopped first, no pedestrians, no other car was already at the intersection, all right? All right, so it's very straightforward here. 
right? They can, they usually have you come on this side to stop. So I'm gonna come right here, complete stop at the line, and just wait for the red light to change. All right? I can tell by the countdown. All right, it's down on, on the cross street. The walk light is counting down. Three, two, one, zero. Now I'm paying attention, extra attention. Is there anybody else coming through? Like that car just ran the light. Um, any pedestrians? It's my turn. Mirror to the curb. One quick turn. All right. And so you can end up here. They say, okay, pull over here. They'll tell you where. Signal, look, slow down, come over to the side. All right. And then you point straight again. You always point straight at the end. Don't leave the car crooked. Put it in park. Put on the hazards if they ask. They could also have you come back on the same side that you started from. Either in the very front of the line or at the end of the line. Right. Um, and that's all there is. Alright. So, that's all there is to the Beverly Road Test site. Not a, it's not a big deal. So, um, you know, shouldn't have busted your brain today. So just, if you have questions, feel free. Um, comments, you know, request notifications, subscribe, like the video, if you like it, all right? Um, that's all from Blue Steel. Take care.